What's good, y'all? It's your boy, Trip. You guys are having a wonderful and awesome, beautiful day, man. But, you know, I got a really, you know, inspiring message that a lot of us can relate to and a lot of us can realize. And that is, you know, sometimes, you know, we can be mad at God for, you know, just like the things that we go through in life. Like, you know, like, if God is loving, like, why am I going through this? If God is loving, then, you know, like, why is he allowing so much trouble and problems to come into my life? Like, you know what I mean? Like, you know, how come when I pray, when I pray on this situation, it's not changing? Like, my circumstances are not changing, you know? And I found myself in that position many, many, many times, you know what I mean? And, like, you know, I always ask, you know, like, God, why is this? Like, you know, like, what's going on? And I would vent my anger and I would vent my frustration to God. And what God would tell me was, you know... All my problems, everything that I'm going through in life right now, all the trials and tribulations, the ups and downs, the rainy, the rainy days, it's like in this life, we have to understand that it's never, it was never God's desire for us to go through, you know, sin and hurt and heartbreak and trauma and all these things. Like it was never God's desire when he made Adam and Eve for them to live their lives like this. But since sin came into the world, you know, it just, you know, through our choices, it just kind of altered everything. So basically all the ups and downs in this life is like a, a hard look at our choices and our sins. You know what I mean? Like God will allow us to go through this broken and imperfect life to show us that we shouldn't put trust in ourselves, that we should put our trust in him. Because we fell short into sin when we put trust into what we thought was right instead of what God thought was right. What God knew was right and trusting in him. You know what I mean? So it's like, and on top of that, when you trust God, when you put your faith in the most high, it's like, yo, literally, you have, we have to understand that the most high is working on us and our problems around the clock 24-7. We have to be, we have to walk around with this reality that we have to accept that we are blessed in the good times and in the bad times. Whatever you're going through right now, whatever you're struggling with, whatever, you know, is, is bothering you, just know that that problem is blessing you. It's working for you, not to you. When you trust in God, when you keep God first, when you're in Christ, when you accept what God has done for you and you are walking the path and his will for your life. You know what I mean? And that's something that we really got to be, you know, mindful of and conscientious of and keep at the forefront of our mind. Because the thing about it is we should never let life put us in a position where, you know what I mean, we're, we're contemplating on giving up and, you know, like, you know, we're just acting like victims all the time. Don't get me wrong. You know what I mean? We're going to hit the canvas. We're going to be down and out sometimes. You know what I mean? But like you never let life bully you. Never let life... You know what I'm saying? Take your cookies from you. Take your lunch money from you. You understand? Because at the end of the day, when you put your trust in God, when you keep God first, you ain't got nothing to worry about. Everything in life is happening for you, not to you. We came to conquer. We came to succeed. We came to overcome. We came to prosper in every single aspect and in every single season of our lives. We really need to celebrate ourselves. We need to celebrate what the Most High is doing through us and for us. We need to celebrate the Most High. You feel me? So it's like, if God leads you to it, he will bring you through it. You know, in the scriptures, it says in Matthew 6 and 33 that the birds are supplied with their food. They don't need to store their food up in a storehouse. They don't need to, you know, save and put away water and save all that stuff. God takes care of the birds and we're way more important than birds. So what makes you think that God's not going to take care of us? What makes you think God's not going to work on that situation on your behalf? What makes you think that God doesn't love you, that God doesn't care about you just because, that uh, you know, life throws a, a few inconveniences your way? That is far from the truth. We are more than conquerors through God that loved us. You feel me? Because when you trust God, when you keep God first, man, can't nothing overcome you. Can't nothing overstep you. You plus God is GG. Good game is over. Whoever did you wrong, whatever problem that you're coming across, if you give it to God and you trust God and you put your faith in God and you choose to step out with God, it's already game over. It's already done. You might as well thank God in advance. And that's one thing I want to share with y'all today, man. Whatever you're going through in life, don't be discouraged. Don't let life beat you down. Just know that everything in life is happening for you, not to you, when you put your trust in God. God may have not been responsible for what had happened to you or the people that did you wrong. 
but God will use those same things to level you up, to elevate you, and to ultimately bless you and put you in a way better position than what you are now. Do not let this temporary life and your temporary circumstances dictate your future and do not allow your, uh, your feelings to be fuel to fuel your future and to fuel the direction of your life put your trust in god and be led by god's word and god's truth not your feelings not your circumstances and not your enemies and that's what i want to share with y'all today and once again it's your boy trey have a wonderful day and be easy